Hi, I'm Rear Admiral Lawrence Selby, the 26th Chief of Naval Research. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video about the Office of Naval Research and to learn about our 75-year history. At ONR, we reimagine naval power every day. We know that the Navy and Marine Corps of today look very different than it did back in 1946 when ONR was founded. And we also know that the fleet and force of tomorrow will look very different yet again than it does today. The one thing we know for sure, though, is that ONR will continue to lead the way. I hope you enjoy this presentation. The Office of Naval Research, 75 years of reimagining naval power. During World War II, the U.S. government established a very successful partnership with academia and industry to help ensure our nation's scientific and technical dominance over the enemy forces. To maintain that thriving partnership after the war, Congress passed Public Law 588 on August 1, 1946, establishing the Office of Naval Research. Its stated mission was to plan, foster, and encourage scientific research for the sake of future naval power and the preservation of national security. Today, 75 years later, the mission of the Office of Naval Research has not changed. For seven and a half decades, the Navy, Marine Corps, and nation have been profoundly affected by the countless innovations and discoveries nurtured by ONR. A pioneer in the fields as diverse as digital computing, directed energy, navigation, and our understanding of the oceans, ONR's contribution to the fight since 1946 has been incalculable, bringing together a wide range of partners in government, the military, industry, and academia in a collaborative environment. ONR has reshaped the ocean sciences by advancing our understanding of ocean dynamics and the transmission of sound, as well as developing new technologies that help explore the deep, improve the mapping of the ocean floor, and autonomously gather data for weather prediction. ONR supported expeditions, took humans to the deepest depths of the world ocean and to the highest balloon ascent in the early 1960s. ONR technology helped in the first detection of hydrothermal vents and a new form of life based on chemosynthesis in the 1970s, as well as the discovery of the wreck of the RMS Titanic in the 1980s. The groundbreaking Project Whirlwind of the 1940s and 1950s created the first digital computer capable of real-time computing, making it the direct ancestor of everything from the computers in our cars to the servers that monitor daily shipping traffic and air defense. Investments in directed energy resulted in the invention of the Maser, an early form of directed energy in the 1950s. More than 60 years later, in 2014, ONR deployed the first operational laser weapon on a naval vessel. More than 60 years of support for the sciences of autonomy and artificial intelligence led to the first autonomous underwater vehicle, SPURV, in the 1950s, and the first autonomous robot, Shaky, in the 1960s. ONR is a world leader in the development of underwater, surface, and aerial vehicles that do everything from maritime data collection to mine countermeasures. From micro-satellites, advanced sonar systems, next-generation anti-blast coatings and high-powered electronics, to advanced Marine Corps ground vehicles, autonomous medical care systems, and personal tactical energy technologies, ONR has provided the technological tools used by today's sailors and Marines. Today, by exploring and making advances in artificial intelligence, enhanced decision-making, networked sensors and intelligent remote vehicles, advanced sea platforms, undersea medicine, directed energy and hypersonics, ONR delivers the lethality our warfighters need to dominate and win on the battlefield, wherever the fight takes them. An essential custodian of the technological superiority that is the cornerstone of our national defense, 
ONR also provides the means for deterrence against potential adversaries. With its Naval Research Enterprise partners, the Naval Research Laboratory, ONR Global, and PMR-51, ONR has been reimagining naval power for 75 years, a creative endeavor fueled by innovation, discovery, collaboration, and diversity. The Office of Naval Research has helped create the Navy and Marine Corps of today and is helping to build the Navy and Marine Corps of tomorrow. Wow, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Some of those images and stories brought back memories when I was a kid. It was July 1969, and my dad let me stay up late one night to watch the Apollo 11 astronauts step onto the moon. That event inspired me, like it did thousands of other young men and women, to begin a STEM career. In fact, Neil Armstrong was and still is one of my personal heroes. Today, the Office of Naval Research is making possible a safe and secure future for our Navy, Marine Corps, and nation. The fields we are exploring today will truly shape the world of tomorrow. We will keep our sailors and Marines dominant in the battle space, and our work will provide inspiration, just like that moon landing did for me in 1969. In fact, perhaps that should be ONR's anniversary slogan, stay inspired. Thanks for watching.